Hey everybody, welcome back to the Let's Play, and uh, I am out here at the tree farm right now, and uh, some stuff happened off camera. Um, we now have uh, two, three iron tools, because we went mining a little bit. Um, Narrator narrates all. One iron pickaxe when in main hand. Four attack damage. We've got an iron One point two attack speed. One iron sword when in main hand. Six attack damage. One point six attack speed. And we have upgraded to an iron sword, which I'm super happy about. Once one shears. We've also got shears. Shield. And um, we're one spider eye. Our uh, our armor is also complete, so that's good. Let me show you guys what I've got going on. I've got a line of furnaces. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven furnaces wide and two furnaces tall, and a stack of chests next to it. And my plan for the next bit is to chop down a whole bunch of trees and create some uh, fuel and as this fuel is smelting I am going to go down into the ground and do some mining to not only collect some blocks for our base build but also to see if I can find some valuables because the good thing about uh, now having an iron pickaxe, which only took three iron ingots and two sticks to make, by the way, is that we can mine things up like gold and redstone and diamond and things like that, so we can start dramatically upgrading our quality of life. So I'm going to continue to chop down these trees and replanting and chopping them down and replanting and chopping them down. Ooh, I got some saplings. Speaking of replanting, I should probably put those down like so. And I can wait for those to uh, smelt. And I'm actually going to go and get the limited amount of coal that we have from down here so that I can get the fuel production started because I believe that narrator narrates all that chest. would be seven chest are a wise use of coal charcoal 38 charcoal so here's some charcoal let's get all the fuel we can find once 20 60 cobblestone as well as all the cobblestone we can designed 40 oh, one shears that was andesite three stick 64 cobblestone where's that andesite we don't need andesite cobblestone. 42 and design. There, there it goes. 45 gravel. 8, 7 coal. There's some coal. Chest. Let's look in the other chest. chest are Anything useful? Torch. No, not quite. Chest. What One. about in here? Seven. 18 birch log. We're taking all the logs with us. 2 wheat. 64 stick. Let's 60. see. 60. Two chest. We're taking the chest to four stick. Sixty three four poppy. Twenty one stone. Five cobblestone. Hmm. Fifty eight gravel. Five, Anything six, useful? Sixty four stick. Two one six. No fuel dirt. whatsoever. Okay. Narrator narrates chat. This is gonna be a process, then, guys. Okay. So, we've already got some things, uh, some trees regrown. So, it's not going to take too long, but I'm going to continue the process of smelting and mining and, and chopping down trees off camera. And I will see you guys uh, when the next interesting step of the process happens or we find something interesting in the mine. I've been pretty pretty busy but um i kind of came across a little bit of an idea ouch let me eat because that hurt 
So, I was going to make the main part of the base up on the hill, but there's this really awesome area down here with that's pretty flat. It's got nothing but birch trees that I've been working on, and I was thinking about probably putting the main, like, the house area, like the main tower that I'm going to be living in, which isn't going to be a big tower, but... I was thinking about putting it down here, like, right on the shore instead of up on the hill. So, um, yeah, that's that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, like, I knew about this area, but uh, I figured there's, there's more room to build up here. It's going to be a little more scenic. And uh, the sound effects are, are kind of awesome. So, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop this whole forest down. Um, and take this, take all of this wood to be turned in to fuel and stuff. And then, uh, we're going to hit the mine. I still haven't been down into the mine yet. This episode is going to take a long time to record. But, uh, yep, I'm going to continue to do this, and I will see you guys when something else interesting happens, but... I think building down here by the ocean is going to be a lot cooler. I've got a lot of stuff done. I'm just going to uh, catch you up on things real quick. So I'm not sure if you can tell stone. with all the stone, stone. around me. It's Torch. pretty much nothing but stone, stone and torches. Diamond ore. And this diamond ore right here. I found diamonds finally. I've been mining here for a couple of days now. And I just now found some diamonds. So 64, 14, one iron pickaxe, one stone We have pickaxe, to change to an iron pickaxe. Hand, three attack damage. Okay, one no. stone, diamond ore. We have to uh, mine stone, uh, diamond stone with this stone. iron pickaxe because stone. The okay, shut up. Narrator narrates chat because the. Uh, because the stone pickaxe isn't hard enough. And we only got two diamonds for that, but we technically could make a diamond sword with that. Should I go craft a diamond sword? Probably. Um, I gotta head up to surface anyway, because I want to show you guys uh, what I've done. Um, with all of these offshoots, you can probably tell that I've been... That I've been super busy with uh with mining but i've also been super busy at the tree farm and i think that's a little more impressive than what we've got going here so i probably spent uh a good six and a half hours at the tree farm and i'll show you the outcome of that as soon as we get up here to our little hidey hole here we are let's do i have any sticks in my inventory at all I don't. Of course I don't. Let us find some. Sticks, sticks, sticks. I don't have any when I need them. Here we go. We got sticks. And we are going to take one stick and put it in the crafting table and then take these two diamonds and we've got our first diamond sword so we upgraded from a why is my shift still triggering what in the world is happening to me uh my camera's like shuddering what in the world okay there we go that was weird so, in a matter of episodes, we went from a stone sword to an iron sword to a diamond sword, which I think is pretty pretty decent progression. But we're up here at the tree farm, and I've got a line of furnaces and chests here. And to make a long story short, all of these furnaces are full of fuel, which was created at this farm. And then we got this chest, which has quite a bit of fuel here. It's almost a half a double chest of, well, a chest. It's, it's almost a whole chest of fuel plus a little extra. And then we got all of these logs here for building. So that's pretty much what I did off camera. 
And I pretty much have decided that that little area down there by the water that we flattened out is going to be where the base starts. So let me collect and process a bit more of this material and I'll start working with what I think is going to be a pretty decent base. I'll see you once all that's done. I have just finished my uh, mining expedition for now. I think we've got all of the raw materials that we're gonna need to at least build the main area of our base. But I also ended up finding more diamonds behind that vein that I showed you guys um, in the in the previous uh, clip of footage. And so once we get up to uh, to the surface here, um, I'll show you uh, what our spoils are because I got some gold, I got some more iron. We're actually doing pretty all right. And then in the next episode, I will get started on building. I wanted to try and put it all in one, but I think as it stands, I'm probably going to have enough footage. We'll see. So... We've got narrator narrates all 10 gold ore. We've got 10 gold ore. Where's our iron? Because I know we got more iron. Where's it at? Six iron ore. We got six more iron on ten top diamond. of 26 iron ingot. The 26 iron. Ten diamond. We got 10 diamonds. So six, 10 gold ore. We're actually doing pretty okay for ourselves, guys. We, we really are. Let's six, put these diamonds six, away. 10 diamond. Because I 60 never want to walk around with diamonds unless I'm uh, actively about to use them. Not ever. But, uh... Stone. You know what? Furnace. Nah. Stone. Let's continue Dirt. the episode. I will see you guys at the build site. A few things have changed since the last update. Um, so, as you can hear, as I look at things, um, a different screen reader is, uh reading stuff now um we've got an nvda link that has been created for the mod and the cool thing about that is i'm actually able to filter some things out so you'll notice that when i walk um over to certain things it reads certain things but if i walk over here to the grass or if i look at this stone right here it doesn't read those blocks because I've gone into my uh, NVDA settings and filtered them out. Um, so like when I'm mining and stuff, I'm not always going to be uh, spammed by blocks or when I'm walking around or whatnot. So all of these servers, servers, all of these furnaces have been fully fueled. We've got a nice chest of furnace, we've got a chest of wood, but if I head away from the hilltop, I've also been uh, farming some wheat off camera, let's go down towards the, uh, the ocean here, because I would like to show you what we've done here. So I've flattened out the beach a bit to not only uh, make it a little nicer looking. I've also flattened out this area um, over here, this like little jetty type thing. But it, to not only make it look better, but this is also going to be where the main base house is built. Um, I was originally planning on doing like this massive like garrison, the big wall around it and whatnot. But um, I think we're gonna keep it keep it kind of simple here. And I'm going to build probably a level at a time. And each level is going to have less floor space than the previous, so it'll kind of look sort of like a pyramid, I guess. Um, and the first level, I'm probably going to have like the living area, the kitchen, the living room, um, probably a place to keep my armor well not my armor but i don't know we'll figure it out it'll be cool yes i know obs studio is using my microphone why are you telling me that but if we look into this chest let me show you some stuff we've got a whole bunch of stone here we got some smooth stone here and 
we've got a whole bunch of sand and whatnot to smelt into glass. So I've definitely got the materials ready to go ahead and start building the base. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to define what my base measurements are going to be. So I have an idea of what space I've got to work with. So I've decided to use a smooth stone. Jeez, okay. I know OneDrive is up to date. You don't have to tell me all of these things I already know. So I've decided to use a smooth stone as my uh, framing block. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk a little more inland. And I'm going to start by making a base outline. And this outline will kind of uh, determine what the rest of the build is going to be like as far as scale, but it'll also give me a defined box to work within because that kind of makes placing blocks for me a bit easier. So I will see you guys once the frame is built and then I'll give you the dimensions and all that. Here's what we've got. Um, we've got a 17 by seven cage here. Uh, it's basically just the outer frames of it, which gives us a 15 by 5, uh, 15 by 15 by 5 internal uh, space to use for the first floor. By the way, just for you, just so you guys know, the, uh, the way that scaling works in Minecraft is you as a character are exactly two blocks tall, give or take an insignificant amount. Um, but the blocks are exactly one meter squared, so I just figured I would let you guys know that. And then here we've got kind of like a, a, a staircase-shaped stack of dirt that I am using to get from the bottom to the top of said cage. And that's set on, when you're facing the front of the cage, that's set on like the left side closest to like the jetty of land that heads out into the water so i'm just using the dirt to get up and down also one more thing i want to mention the reason that it sings smooth like that is because i have filtered a lot of block well not a lot of blocks but a few blocks out of what my screen reader will say for example it's not saying these grass blocks right here um if I had some regular stone, let's see, I've got some in this chest right here. See, like, it, it only said, like, 64. It didn't say anything else. That's because it doesn't say sand. So when I walk up to the frame of this, of, my, of our, or the first floor of our house here, all it's saying is smooth, and that's because it's, well, you guys get it. So there, there are some bugs with my methods, but I'm just trying to get things ironed out as uh, as this plugin advances. But there is something that we actually need in order to continue this. I want to make the floor out of uh, regular stone, right? But I don't want to use regular stone blocks. There's um, There's a half version of blocks in the game called a slab. And it's a lot more uh, reasonable to use those when doing things like floors. Because, uh, you know, you only really need... Uh, you only really need the space to... They kind of look like tiles. You can make those in the crafting table. But you don't necessarily have to. There's a another device uh, in the game called a stone cutter. Which is really convenient. Because you don't have to worry about making crafting patterns and stuff like that. But I don't actually remember the crafting recipe. So let's open the crafting recipe. And we're going to search for cutter. And here's the stone cutter. And what does this require? This requires a three stone across. And one iron ingot up top. And again, because I have stone filtered, so it's not saying it all the time. Um, that's the reason why it's not saying the uh, the full recipe. So 
Let's see if we've got any iron ingots from our mining trip. If I remember correctly, we do. Let's see. Yep, we sure do. Furnace output. That's crazy. We're going to take that iron out. Do I have stone on me? I do. Holy crap. I wish it wouldn't say everything. So let's go ahead and place an iron ingot in the top middle. And we're going to go one, two, three stone. And... That gives us a stone cutter. Awesome. And then... And then we can go ahead and put our valuables away. Oh yeah, we got some diamonds in the mine too. We're going to have to upgrade to some diamond tools and stuff. Just a few at the end of the episode. But, uh, so yeah, let's, let's get rid of those and let's get rid of the iron for now. Now we've got a stone cutter. Um, and I will probably set the stone cutter up up here, um, by the tree farm just to keep, uh, things organized and stuff. I don't mind running back and forth. So let's just plonk it right there. And, uh, sorry, I'm a little stuffed up today, guys. Um, we're going to take all of our stone. And we're going to, let's see. We are going to make it into stone brick slabs. That's nice. And you get two slabs per block. We've got 61 slabs. Boom. That should give us enough. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill in the floor um, with these slabs and then start building up like the frame for the windows and, and stuff like that. So just putting the house together piece by piece. So uh, again, I will see you when that's complete. I wanted to give you guys um, an example of why I'm not including the build process because uh, uh, first off, you know, I know a lot of people are here to see how I play Minecraft with my screen reader, but listen to what it sounds like when I am placing stone slabs to fill in this floor. Right? See what I mean? And we're actually out of slabs, so that's funny, because I have to make some more slabs. Return the slab. Um, I'm, I'm going to be really amused if anyone uh, knows what that reference is from. But yeah, um, I'm going to make some more slabs and keep doing that. Hello, seagulls. That's just why I'm not including a lot of this process. Before I get too uh, carried away... Okay, it's not nighttime yet. But before I get carried away, um, I've gone ahead and outlined the area for the doorway, which kind of marks the center of the front of the house. Um, hello, Minecraft uh, sunset setting over the ocean. But this is kind of um, what the front of the house is going to start to look like. Um, I get super... Let's go ahead and sleep. I get super kind of overwhelmed when it comes to like the various creative thoughts that I have and how fast they happen. So a lot of times I will start to uh, do things to the base and be like, oh gosh, um, I should probably update these guys on what I've been doing because it's been a good 20 minutes since I've told them what's up. So. 
Um, right now, I'm just continuing to kind of uh, build up the walls and outline the windows and stuff like that. So nothing super, super interesting, but um, I keep hearing comments of people who really want to uh, see more of the process in any video that I make like this. So I try and do my best to kind of show what order in which I do things. So yeah, that's basically all I'm doing is building walls. So um, I don't know uh, how much of the building of the first, the exterior of the first level I'm gonna show. I might just finish it up and then walk around and show you guys what I've done. But if you would like to get more of a uh, unabridged version, uh, uh, like, but if you would like to get a more unabridged version of the way that I build and like the order in which my thought processes happen and all that stuff, I do stream on the Blindcraft server quite often. So uh, try and catch one of my live streams if you want to see me do this uh, without me just coming back at milestones, which is currently what I'm doing. So all the walls and stuff, all the frames are built up. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, identify where all the windows are going to be. Um, I'll probably stick some torches up and then slab over the ceiling for the second floor. But if I make any really important design choices or changes uh, before that's over, then I'll start recording again. Here's what we've got. We've got Two windows on the front, either side of the door. Two and two on either back, face, so back, front, back, and sides, back, as well back. as the ceiling, all slabbed over. Now, I haven't decided if we are doing stairs or a ladder. Probably stairs, because I have more workspace to deal with, versus our hidey hole. And speaking of our hidey hole... It's almost time for us to actually move out. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. There we go. And we are going to go and make a few things. First off, we need to head up to the tree farm to get some wood because we are going to make a front door. And second, I've got some sand in my inventory and we can use that to... Uh, smelt some windows. So if I put it in the furnace, then we will have enough window blocks. And I like using blocks because, and instead of panes, because you have to be a little less precise with clicking. But um, here's our furnace. Where's the sand? Do I have sand? I only have six sand. Um, hold on one sec. Yeah, um, I didn't pay attention to how many blocks of uh, sand that I grabbed. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split that in half. And then I'm going to take half of each of these. And I'm going to... I don't care about what's happening on my, on my toolbar. There we go. And I'm going to split. Okay, yeah, that was talking too much. Um, I went ahead and split that stack plus six across these five furnaces and while that is going let's walk over here and first place first place i'm just going to grab that birch log plus these planks and oh, I already have six. Cool. 
I don't need them. For crafting chest, crafting table, I'll see you using your microphone. So let's open up the crafting table. One item bonus, 50 piece numbers long. One per, per four per span. And we're going to... There we go. One per span. Okay. We're going to make some doors. And let's actually get another log. Yeah, let's get another. Let's get another two logs. There we go. And we're going to go stick. And we are going to make some signs as well. And it looks like the furnaces are finishing up. Cool. So let's take all of this glass. Okay, there's... This one's almost done. All of this sand is done smelting. So we're going to take that. That's about a stack plus six of glass. That is perfect. So now we've got windows and a door to turn this box with holes in it into an actual uh, start of a house. Now, mind you, this isn't going to be our whole house. So me having the bed down there and everything is only temporary because I'm planning on having the bed up a little higher, but um, I'm not going to spend this entire episode just uh, building. So. Okay. We're going to go ahead and grab our doors and place one right there. Cool. And you know what? I actually forgot. No, I didn't. And then we're going to place a slab and put. We're going to place a slab right in front and some smooth stone on either side. And now we can close the door. Now we're still not safe from the windows, so excuse me while I just fill all of these holes in with the glass blocks we just made. Sweet. So we have the inside lit. We're all closed in. And check this out. The sun is setting on our first evening in what will be our new home. And I'm super excited because uh, this will mean that I can do certain things uh, without having to scramble around the landscape watching for monsters. But, uh, Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the chests and items and stuff out of the hidey hole. And I'm not necessarily going to move everything into the house, but I'm going to move everything down here to this little coastal outcropping of land that we're starting to settle on. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, I appreciate you guys coming by, and I also want to thank everybody for asking questions in the comment. One of the goals of this series is to answer you guys' question and kind of raise some awareness on uh, some alternate forms of gameplay. So thank you so much for coming by and for sticking with the Let's Play this long. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.